Hello, so for a while now, I've been having night terrors in the middle of the night where I wake up kicking and screaming as if someone is trying to harm me. Or I'm having a dream continuously over and over again and I can't remember the next day what I've dreamed about, but it seems as if someone is trying to relay a message to me. Oh, what you doing to me? My question is, what's going on with me and what can I do to stop them? Please, please, please help me. Give me some answers. I need it soon. Thank you. Dr. Raj. When I hear this story, one word jumps to mind, parasomnias. So let me define what they are. So parasomnias, unwanted behaviors and actions that happen as you're going to bed, as you're waking up, and between the stages of sleep. So what is an unwanted behavior? Can I demonstrate? Absolutely. Okay, who's had this before? You're really tired during the day, you're just about to fall asleep and you do this. Yes. Ah, yes. see, you don't need to work up for a seizure. What you do need to realize is that's called a sleep start, an unwanted behavior, a parasomnia. When she says she's moving, there are certain people who reenact their dreams. They will yell, they will scream. They could be a threat to themselves and to others. So you know what I need to do, Travis? I'm thinking we have to do a sleep study. Why? To see what stage of sleep she's having it in. And when anyone who's an adult has these parasomnias, not normal. You shouldn't be sleepwalking as an adult. You shouldn't have these REM disorders. So let's figure and it once out. Once you figure something like that yeah. out, are there different methodologies by which you can treat it? Since it could yeah. theoretically become dangerous. You're amazing in the sense that why do we do things? Because it changes your management. When you have nightmares and REM movement disorder, there are medications for them. PTSD is more so today with nightmares and is night terrors. There's not much for the night terror. So you're right, it's important to make the right diagnosis. I'll tell you, I feel like anyone out there who's dealing with issues like this, I'm glad we have sleep studies. I've never done one. No. I'm mm -hmm. intrigued by them, even though I don't have these right. issues. But yep. I gotta tell you, what a great option for anyone who's going through something like that.